All right, Macy, congrats on the big win. The team has finally shaken their prelim final hoodoo and made the big dance. How are the emotions? Yeah, they're starting to kick in now. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty nervous, excited, wrapped, all of the above. I was, it took till getting to the rooms and seeing everyone to really hit home a bit, to be honest. How important was the first quarter in terms of setting up the team <coughs> for the win? I just think it was great. Just, like I said, we're, we're bit, well, there's a few of us being six in a row now, only won one. Um, it just, it was great to get to settle quickly and get, a, get on top of it and just go, it's not cliche, it's another game, but it, it was good just to settle early, yeah. Your personal performance is pretty outstanding. 70 hit outs, 24 touches. Yeah. Is it something you've been working on really trying to command the midfield? <laughs> no, not really. I just, so, yeah, sometimes you have a day where it seems to bounce your way, so I'll take it. <laughs> and hopefully, but, um, hopefully I can back it up a bit next week. Anyone else stand out for you in terms of their performance? Oh, I'm not a great observer, observer of what's going on, but there was just moments like Milky late, which is incredible. Um, I could be completely wrong who played great all day, but there were just there were little moments where I just everyone was so good. Nick Abinjo down forward. I just can't commend all, all the boys. There were just moments that could have been uh, won and lost, and we won them, and they did it, so it was great. We'll face a strong Richmond side next week. What do you think the most important thing the team needs to do to win that? Just belief. Just come with some belief. They're, they're a fantastic side, but we're in it. So, you yeah, know, you're going to be in it. You have to win it, yeah, so we'll have a crack. Thanks, Macy, and good Thank luck. You. Cheers, good on you.